The third type of Kaposi sarcoma under epidemiological classification is the transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. So the third type is transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. The name itself says that it is transplant associated which means the exogenous immunosuppression is considered to be the most common cause. So, who are the predominant risk groups? Predominant risk groups. So, the individuals with exogenous immunosuppression, let me write over here, individuals with exogenous immunosuppression, more commonly individuals uh, who undergone like solid organ transplant, organ, solid organ transplant. That is the reason we are calling it as transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. And the individuals who are older, older patients greater than the age of 50 are the predominant risk groups with uh, male and female ratio is 1 is to 1. That is the reason we do not have any gender predominance over here. And it is also associated with excessive use of the cyclosporin A. Cyclosporin A. So, all these individuals come under predominant risk groups. Older patients greater than the age of 50 without any gender predominance who undergone exogenous immunosuppression mainly due to solid organ transplantation and excessive use of cyclosporin A are considered to be the major risk groups under the transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. So, what about the cutaneous involvement? Cutaneous involvement is more commonly seen at the distal lower extremities. So, distal lower extremities are the most common cutaneous sites to be associated with transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. And what about the visceral involvement? Visceral involvement. Remember that in the third type that is transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma, visceral involvement is relatively common. So, so we have cutaneous involvement as well as visceral involvement, right? So, visceral involvement is common and cutaneous involvement is more commonly seen at the distal lower extremities, right? After discussing about the cutaneous as well as visceral involvement, let us talk about the clinical course of the third type. Clinical course. So, they may regress with the modification of immune suppression. So, who is the culprit here? Immunosuppression is the main culprit, right? So, whenever there is a modification of immune suppression, they automatically regress. So, let me write here regress with modification of immunosuppression. So, regress with the modification of immunosuppression. Otherwise, it pursues an aggressive course and often involves lymph nodes. So, if there is no regression, it often aggressive, often involving lymph nodes or lymph nodes as well as they may also involve viscera. Lymph nodes, not only viscera, you can also see the like uh, sites which are involved are mucous membranes, viscera right lymph nodes skin mucous membranes viscera so all these are seen but as i already mentioned that cutaneous lesions are restricted to distal lower extremities but in vast majority of the individuals cutaneous lesions may be absent also if present they are located at the distal lower extremity so this is about uh, the transplant associated kaposi sarcoma